I think the key message that we were trying to leave the audience with today was that digital tools such as blockchain and AI are critical for achieving the sustainable development goals, especially those related to poverty reduction, which is a key lever for financial inclusion. So when we talk about financial inclusion, for example, we have a great partnership with the Definity Foundation in Cambodia, where we're building something called Universal Trusted Credentials. And those are blockchain-backed digital identifiers for small businesses to be able to access credit. So for example, a lot of small businesses in Southeast Asia, which make up 97% of the economy in terms of the number of businesses, a lot of them just don't have the digital identity that allows them to access credit from financial institutions. So with this partnership with Definity, we're pulling data from all the different relevant government agencies, um, as well as things like whether they have a track record of paying their electricity bill, to give them sort of a credit profile that allows banks to evaluate them and hopefully give them credit. And at the same time now, through our partnership with Generale Insurance, we're looking at integrating insurance into that so that those banks also can see that this person has enhanced credit worthiness because they have that extra layer of risk protection. And then through that insurance, that they're a better candidate for a loan in the first place, a loan at a better rate, and a loan for more more financing, and that some of that financing that they get could potentially be used to invest in risk reduction efforts, which can also then reduce their like risk exposure to things like climate change, business interruption, fire, things like that. So we have a pilot in Cambodia that's been pulled together in partnership with the government, UNDP teams on the ground, the Definity team supporting the back-end development with their financing as well as technological um, assistance so that that you know, enables for the, the building of the platform. And now we're trying to take this model and bring more data points into it so that it can that it becomes a decentralized way of validating, um, you know, the entity. And now, and that's why the insurance component comes in, as well as trying to add whether the business is, for example, doing certain risk reduction measures that would also potentially lead to them having more favorable premium pricing. We're mostly focusing on businesses. Um, A similar approach could, of course, be applied to individuals. But right now, as I mentioned, um, small businesses in Southeast Asia make up 97 percent of businesses. They support about 70 percent of jobs. And so they're huge levers of economic growth, but they're also really, really vulnerable to different risks. So this is things like access to credit, lack of access to international markets, fire risk is a big one, flooding. Um, Actually, Asia is the most uh, disaster prone continent. And so uh, flooding instances, um, mudslides, et cetera. So all of these, especially if you're a small business, you're really vulnerable. And so insurance adds that extra layer of risk protection. But through the work with Definity, right now it's focusing more on financial uh, inclusion, but we're trying to add that extra layer of risk protection so that those small businesses are not just getting better access to, to credit, but they're also being able to make sure that they have that kind of buffer and safety net in the event that something unexpected happens. Our team within UNDP uh, works with about 20 of the world's largest insurers, and we are a bit unique in the fact that we work on a lot of public-private partnerships. And it's always challenging, but when you find the the challenge that you both want to solve together, you might be coming at it from different perspectives, but we can do what they can't and they can do what we can't. So when we combine forces, I like to say, you know, one plus one equals three. You know, we we get more than the sum of our parts. So even though it's challenging to align, you know, the the different um the different organizations and also to bring in government and other stakeholders, when you find that sort of sort of sweet spot of the nexus of the win-win for everybody, it becomes much easier. And, you know, that's kind of where I think the magic happens. It takes time and a lot of investment on both sides, but we've been doing this for a long time. And I think that, you know, we're finally starting to see the results of all that effort coming in on both sides.